here's a thought on, uh, oh, hello, on the difference uh, between cats and dogs. And, you know, I, I do love dogs, but I love them like I love children. Like, I'm great with them for maybe an afternoon. If, it is, if it's an especially cool dog or child of one of my best friends, like, maybe overnight, but, you know, if, if you're not there to pick them up the next morning, like we agreed, I'm gonna have to call the proper authorities to come take them away, because that's not my problem anymore. So now that you've learned why I'm probably not the ideal to sit for your child or dog, <laughs> uh, I've, I've figured out, and I've got some friends of mine who agree with me on this, so like, dogs love us like a toddler loves their parents. It's like, you are the greatest person in the world, and you can do no wrong by them, and they love you completely unconditionally, and everything you do is great, and they're so excited to see you. And cats, though, cats love us like, you know, like a teenager loves their parents. You know, they may be aloof at times, and they may think you are completely stupid. And, <laughs> and that's actually a thing, is, um, you know, uh, cats. Um, so house cats, um, especially the very vocal ones, they are vocal at us. Um, so, like, feral cats, you know, in their, in their own colonies, amongst their own kind, uh, they are not incredibly vocal once they're adults, you know, like... You know, like, you know, of course, kittens will mule to, uh, uh, to, uh, to communicate to their mother that, you know, they need, you know, this, that, and the other thing. But then they eventually learn, you know, how to communicate as adults with other adult cats, and, you know, they gradually, you know, stop muling as they get older. But, uh, but cats, house cats, you know, when they talk to us, it's because they think we're completely stupid. Like, none of my cats... None of my cats are especially vocal. Um, Phoebe might be the most vocal out of the three I've currently got, but, you know, Nigel is very quiet. He very seldom says anything, um, especially now that I've got the other two. Um, but then again, usually when he would be uh, vocal before I even got Phoebe, it was like just to... It's clear he was commanding me to come play with him. Um, but yeah, like, none of my cats are especially vocal. Um, you know, like, they very seldom say anything, and usually when they do, it's clear it's because it's dinner time. And, <laughs> you know, so, like, cats, like, house cats, they talk to, they talk to us because they think we're stupid. <laughs> And this has been figured out. So yeah, like teenagers. Teenagers think their parents are stupid. And I know this because I remember being a teenager. And while I would say as an adult that I was not entirely wrong about my parents, there are times I've come to figure out that they weren't quite as stupid as I thought they were at the time. But then again, that's that's my own particular case. Um, listening to you know, and I remember listening to all of my other friends, and so many of them have backtracked on how stupid they thought their parents were. <laughs> like you know, um, hi. <laughs> um. So yeah, like cats love us, like teenagers love us. Like they they will show affection in their own way, um, but you know they they treat us like they think we're stupid and. <laughs> Um, and while it's certainly entertaining to us on some level, it's kind of frustrating to them, but they do love us. They do love us. Um, and that's today's toilet thought.